Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to use this add adjustment layer which is available in the newly updated IBS Paint Text app. Before that, if you feel my video quality is very low when you are watching, just click on the quality and move it to high quality so that you can get the clear view of my videos. And let's start the tutorial first. I am just opening and the artwork that I have already created and here I'm going to show you how to use this new uh, update which is uh, available in the newly updated version of the app uh, and this is the artwork I have created if you are new to my channel just click on the below video in that I have created this uh, how to create this artwork and uh, here I will tell you in detail about this um, adjustment layer so if you are adding any detail to uh, any filter to any artwork what we will do you just click on this layer and then go to filter and apply the filter to that layer so this is how we usually uh, apply filter so in, if you if we apply the filter it will be applied only to that particular layer it will not affect any other layer so that's the usual um, uh, method we have uh, used so far uh, in terms of filter and layering so the adjustment layer is something different from the usual so here you can see whatever I applied only applied to that particular layer so and here if I am applying any blur or anything to whatever the layer may be, it will be applied only to that layer. But this add adjustment layer is very different from the uh, usual thing. So here, if I create an adjustment layer above that third layer, then which means it will be applied uh, like a, another layer above all this and whatever applied on that filter applied on that will affect all the layers below that so for example I'm creating the adjustment layer above the three layers and when I click on that adjustment layer it directly directed to the filters the filters panel open and it will be providing 21 filter uh, but usually we have so much uh, other filters as well but for this adjustment layer we have only 20, 21 filters so if you're applying filter like a radial line filter, you can try any other filter as well. But here I'm trying a radial line gradation filter. If you try this and try any different color gradation that is provided by that particular filter, I can end up with so much different options uh, that uh, we can apply to our artwork and create something new. Um, um, instead of just using brush so here I am choosing this gradation and just changing its settings like count, face, middle, contrast all these things you can try on your own so I am checking I don't want it to be a, a symmetrical with lots of lines something like that so I want it to be a random uh, space uh, lights emitting things so to create that effect I'm making it only as two I mean three lines and just adjusting its parameter so that it looks realistic and not a filter with uh, symmetrical lines. So also changing the blending mode and checking out which one looks good. So this will be available in a normal filter when you apply for the particular layer as well and also for this add adjustment layer as well so here we can try out many other things and you can see once i applied any blending mode or anything it is applied to the entire background which means all the layers below that so now i applied this it doesn't make much different but um oh you know you can see a little bit of changes in the light colors so so I want the artwork uh, to be a good uh, look as well. So I didn't apply any random messy filters. So next, at the top of all the layers, which means the filter will be applied to all the layers, all the details, objects present in all the layers. So in, uh, I'm going to apply a filter like that. 
and here I'm just trying all the filters and checking out which one I can try so if I have any particular idea about that I just go to that filter and create that and here I don't have any particular idea so I'm just clicking on all the filters and checking out uh, which will make a bigger difference as well as a beautiful new artwork uh, from the uh, drawing uh, the artwork I have already done so it will each filter has different purpose it will work for some artworks it will not work for some artworks so it depends on the artwork so again I'm just coming back to the adjustment layer and just checking out here the blur frame looks a uh, little bit good on this artwork so I'm trying this so you can see the difference if a strength you reduce the strength it will be like a normal and if you increase the strength it will be like a, a dark corners so now I'm going to sh show you the difference between the artwork that I have already created and after applying the add adjustment layer so here I applied two adjustment layer and this is how it looks so you can see the variations in the color and they look a little bit different from that also it looks beautiful as well so I like both of these variations and I hope you like this tutorial subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching